Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the Restless Viking channel. I'm the Viking, and today, under the beating sun of a sweltering spring day, doing something new today. It's called Supplemental Sunday or Saturday, covering skills, techniques, and any amount of mighty attempts at intellectual legacy that we can come up with to share with everyone. So curl up with uh, your favorite iPad or your laptop and spend a few minutes with us talking about a historic treasure used by cowboys, overlanders, and adventurers alike called the kitchen box by modern standards, but historically and properly it's called the chuck box, which used to be part of the chuck wagon. So let's get started and explore Clifford the Reds, Tasty Tailgate, Trattoria and Pub, and the chuck box that makes it possible. You see, in 1866, a cattleman named Charles Goodnight was doing cattle drives from Texas to the north, and he needed a way to continue operations and to feed his drovers as they continued on their long drives, which were a few weeks at a time. So being the simple, I don't know, genius he was, he decided to take a uh, old army Studebaker wagon and affix a box to the back of it that had kitchen utensils and spices, cooking supplies, and they called that a chuck box. They called it a chuck box because that was the cut of beef that was the most undesirable or the cheapest on a beef carcass. And the only reason that you know it's a chuck wagon and you can study the history of Charles Goodnight is because for some strange reason it revolutionized the cattle industry. So without any further uh, blah blah blah, let's check out Clifford the Reds Tasty Tailgate Trattoria and Pub, otherwise known as his Chuck Box. Come with me, we'll go see something high with hillbilly isms. So here it is, the Chuck Box and the accoutrements. So in overlanding and other various remote work pursuits. The concept of the chuck box lives on, but normally the chuck box is a, is a dedicated system for the individual's equipment. So a lot of Jeeps or a lot of mini trailers have a dedicated kitchen area or chuck area or chuck box that, uh, that they use. Clifford the Red's a little unique in that it, it, it's not dedicated, it's kind of portable. Um, this is the chuck box itself, but all the other, uh, things that go with Clifford make it uh, kind of complete. It completes the chuck box. So, uh, so here's the chuck box table and then in here is the sleeping platform. We got some tools, flashlights, radios. We got our bush knife. This is the pantry up here with, uh, with the famous and ubiquitous Spam. So Spam is kind of an interesting, interesting food. It was a uh, it actually started production in 1937 before World War II. And uh, interestingly though, in uh, 2020, due to the, uh, the, the, the pandemic that we, that we have and uh, the coronavirus, uh, they started their second production of Spam. So um, it looks like it's gonna be with us for a while. So starting at the bottom in the first drawer, we have uh, a little bit of a cutting board um, kitchen counter, so to speak, and then of course uh, as we move in we have everything from the locking lugs that we don't use, cargo netting, flashlight, jack handle gloves, jump pack, we got window cleaner, hacksaw, large wrenches, and of course this is the pub of Clifford the Red's Tailgate, Tasty Tailgate, Trattoria, and Pub. So we keep that in there. Also the shelves, if you can see back here, is a little handle here and a catch. This shelf comes out and then below this is actually a factory built cubby where we keep more whiskey. So then we move on. The next drawer is basically tools. So the tool drawer has got everything from really large zip ties to small lights, you know, all the basic things you need. It's not dedicated to a kitchen, it's dedicated to fixing things with a tray that pops up and a tray that's got more underneath of it. 
So uh, that's what we got here. And then the third drawer that we have, we got your insect repellents and your hand sanitizers, your shaving kit, first aid kit, extra cordage, and all the different things that you need um, while you're on the road from wet naps to extra toilet paper to mosquito netting to baby wipes. So just a variety of things with a self-closing drawer. Really in both cases, here we have self-closing drawers. This one's got a latch on it because it's kind of heavy, but this is uh, the only thing here that really works with the kitchen is going to be the cutting board slash counter. At the top, we have the pantry where we keep the bread, maybe the spam. We've got a uh, lantern light, a couple copper cups, obviously for the Moscow mules or the Michigan mules or whatever. Got an air pump, a little more cargo netting, got a water bottle. So that's uh, that's what makes up this side. We also have our lighting system and charging station. We got two uh, LED lights, regular old camp lights, stringed camp lights that you'd usually bring camping. We set them up in here. And of course a charging station with USB and anything we need and kind of an independent uh, power system um, just for the back here. And then down here, before we get into the chuck box, we have what we call the dehydration drawer, or the, or the freeze dry drawer and canned goods drawer. So, so this is a bit of a pantry. It's got, uh, got lots of uh, canned goods, some extra silverware, we got everything from powdered butter to ground beef, pork sausage, roast beef. We have uh, organic tomatoes, bell peppers, olive oil, sweet onions. You notice it's uh, it's all dehydrated, no cooler. Tabasco sauce. We got some fettuccine noodles, some canned fruit. This is a to-go meal. And we'll kind of get to that in a minute. And then I got over easy, um, probably the best uh, dehydrated egg mix that you can get. A little uh, biscuit uh, mix and apples, freeze-dried apples, so on and so forth. And in the back, of course, playing cards for gambling. Some more cutlery and extra Ziploc baggies. So the reason that we have a, a lot of dehydrated uh, things in here is because this design, the things that we do, the reason that we have a chuck box and it's not dedicated is because this chuck box could go into a cabin, for instance, and then we can cook in there. Or if we're going to dismount, and you'll see as we get into the chuck box how it's designed to be uh, to be cannibalized a little bit to be used for if we have to dismount uh, Clifford the Red and go off into the wilderness. This meal was prepared for a camping trip. We got some dehydrated apples, freeze-dried apples, and then some oatmeal, and then a boil bag and some brown sugar topping, and a little, I think there's a maple syrup pack in there. So that's just one individual meal that can go into the backpack, into the bike pack, into the airplane, into the boat, and we can take it with us. So that is basically the drawer systems. Now, the chuck box setup is pretty simple. We just pull out the table. We set it up a short distance from the uh, from everything itself. Then we, so it gets the chuck box out. And the jig box, for all intents and purposes, is set up. So this is the check box, the self-contained kitchen. We have our trash. We have our paper towel with a spare paper towel in there that we can use. And then we got uh, a variety of spices and jellies, cooking oil, measuring spoons. We've got a heat shield underneath there, chopsticks, matches, lighters. One of our stoves, got a little fry pan, got some chinette, some camp soap, bottle opener, and can opener. Then as we move down, you can see that this is basically just a, a regular Harbor Freight toolbox. With these three drawers were taken out, and then a shelf was installed, and then these two, um, or these, yeah, two drawers were taken out. This uh, flopped down kind of like a shelf, but uh, it moved around a lot and it just didn't have any support. So we added the chains on each side and uh, of course the lock to lock it up there at the top. And the, it came with a busted lock like a lot of Harbor Freight products do. Something was busted on it. So uh, we uh, took the lock out and ground down the uh, screws that we used to put in the, the latch. And then we have our stoves. Now a lot of stoves in a chuck box 
come with uh, like a two burner, large two burner Coleman, but we basically have two isopropane tanks with the stoves to attach to them. So basically we have the same two burner set up uh, that you might get with uh, you know a traditional style chuck box with a Coleman two burner but this mess kit this stove and this tank makes a complete uh, meal mess kit complete with you know the much needed caffeine and coffee with the pot holder and the cutlery even a some uh, copper cable for cooking over a campfire and an ignition source so we have everything that we need we can just take out of the chuck box and throw it in a backpack or a bike pack or a boat or wherever, wherever we needed it and just take it with us. Um, and then we can cook the meals, like the single serving meals that we create out of the dehydrator drawer. If, you're, if you all remember that. Single serving meal, put that together. We got at least breakfast at our next location. So as we keep going through the chuck box, we see that in these three drawers we have some cutlery, like an egg beater, um, can opener, another ignition source. Um, we have uh, salt, salt, wet naps, honey, syrup. And the next, usually close is much easier. And then in the next drawer, we have mustard mayonnaise for our spam sandwiches, Tabasco sauce in a, in a uh, bottle. Then we have coffees and drink mixes and things like that in the next drawer. We have uh, Tabasco, Sriracha sauce, some syrup, olive oil, brown sugar packets, pretty much anything that we want to bring with us. And then we have our spices in the top. So that's basically it. Added a couple handles to the side so that we can carry it instead of just by the top. The S-hook obviously holds trash. Trash is always something you always have in your hands when you're open little mayonnaise packets. And then um, paper towels, just a little sticky thing and a little eye hook. So we can just put our paper towel on there and then it's got a uh, piece of tubing around it. Boil bags and the spatula. And then we have another mess kit. We have a cup with a shot glass in it. Um, we have a fry pan. And on the fry pan, it's a little unstable on these, uh, on these stoves. So what we've invented here is something to hold the frying pan up. Something to hold the frying pan up when we have it on the stove so it doesn't tip over. And it works out actually pretty good. Um, we'll probably uh, find the old carabiner that we had to hook onto that. Um, we can tighten it up, loosen it up accordingly with our little taut line hitch. Um, we got the spatula, I think I pointed that out. Got some bowls, so water purification. It's uh, the uh, standard old Sawyer squeeze. These are for biscuits. And then we have the much needed Toaster, Canadian old-fashioned toaster. So why don't we go ahead and uh, whip ourselves up a little bit of a meal here. I was gonna do something fancy for the meal, but uh, it's hot out, already had breakfast. So I think uh, we'll just um, go into the pantry here. We'll grab some Spam. Some bread. We'll make some grilled Spam and cheese sandwiches. Now we actually have a couple different types of cheeses. We have a cheese spread dehydrated. Um, we have canned cheese. Which you've never had this big of cheese. That's some good stuff, actually. Um, and then we have cheddar cheese shredded, freeze dried. We have uh, cheddar jack cheese spread. Look at that meat jello. Oh yeah. Look at that. Good old pork shoulder. Jello, meat jello pork shoulder. Poppins likes her toast uh, not so golden brown, so we gotta pay particular attention. Cause I'm all about pleasing my sweetheart that puts up with me.
And there you have it. Took about uh, 10 minutes using utilizing the chuck box. All you need, just a little box. And a cooler. A cooler. You need a cooler for these things. These are important. They've become very important in the world. And that's it. Clip of the Reds. Tasty tailgate, trattoria, and pub. Till next time. Happy Sunday and happy Father's Day.